Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make, how I make this spike ball. Um, I'm not going to dimension or constrain everything, just to keep this tutorial as short as possible. And my materials and my texture I do in Cinema 4D, so that'll be on a different tutorial. So let's go into SolidWorks, and on the front plane, I'm going to make a sketch, and I'm going to make a circle, and I'm going to make that 100 millimeter, and say OK. And then I'm going to take a line, and I'm going to put a line down the middle, and then I'm going to cut it out, cut out what I don't need, and then I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to get out of that sketch, and I'm going to revolve, and we'll revolve around there, and say OK. Now in the front plane, I'm going to make a sketch, and it's going to be a circle, and just like that, say OK, and then I'm going to make another sketch on this front plane, and I'm, that one I'm going to put a square, and I'm going to define it by the center, and then I'm going to make all the sides equal, so I'm going to click on it, shift, shift click on all of them, or control click and say make equal and then I'm going to select this and select this and make a tangent and then I'm going to take my and then I'm going to finish the sketch and then I take my front plane and my top plane and uh, define an access point and say OK so now I got my axis and now the reason I put this uh, square here is to show you an easy way to get planes at any angle you want, pretty much. Well, the 45 and the 90. And um, or so to do that, you just select plane, and it already selected one point, and that's my axis. And now if I wanted it here, I could just select that, and then I could say OK. If I wanted it on this corner, I could just select that and the axis and say OK. But I want it on this plane, so I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to just hide this to get this out of my way. It's confusing. And on this one, I'm going to sketch on this. And on that one, I'm going to go into Intersection Curves and select my solid body and press OK. And now we got that. Say OK. And get out of that sketch. Hide this. And now I'm going to go into curves. Project curves. I'm going to select my curve. Select where I want it. And whenever you project curves, it's better to have the plane in the middle like I had. So this way you have a choice of what side you want just works out better that way and we want it on that side so I'm going to say OK and now you see how it's a faint blue line so we're going to have to go into 3D sketch and then I'm going to have to convert entities and I'm going to select this and say OK now it's able to extrude and then I'm going to clear out of the sketch and then I'm going to go into extrude select what I want to extrude and whenever you're extruding um, a 3D sketch you need to define a plane and that's right here direction of extrusion and I'm going to select this plane here and say and now we want to just uh, draft it and I want to draft it like that I want to pull it out a little bit more and do less of a draft. Okay, and that's a little bit too long. And all right, we'll go with that. That's good. And so I'm going to untick merge results and say okay. 
and now what we want to do is we want to go into under lineal pattern we want to go into curve driven pattern and we want to select our curve which is this and then we want to select under bodies to pattern we want to select this and say okay and uh, I just eyeball this and that looks pretty good I'll just take the countdown a little maybe I'll make it 10 and that looks better and then you want to go offset curve and tangent to curve is good and so we want to accept that and say okay and now the next step would be what I do is I select this and I control shift select this and I said add to new folder and it puts it into a subfolder and the next step for us is to uh, go into feet into my miscellaneous and I go into um, move copy bodies and then from here you can either select one every one of these on the interface here or you could just go into where you have your solid bodies and that's here and my subfolder is here and it won't let me just click on that so I select this well I skip the first one I select this one I select this one and I shift select this one and I select them all except for that one because um, this way we won't have one that's on top of each other and then from there I go into rotate and then I select where I want to rotate about and we want to use this axis and then we want to put a number and I'm going to go 90 and it gives you a preview and we want to tick copy because we want to make a copy and we say okay and now we have that and then you just keep doing that you just go into uh, move bodies again and I just go to the first one that I was at and I skip the first one and I go to this one and then I go to this one and on that one I do the same thing I click on here and then I click where we want to rotate it from and it's that axis and on this one I'm going to do 45 and check it out and it looks good and copies ticked so that's good and we say OK and then we just do it one more time then so we just go into move body copy and I skip the first one I select this one and I select this one and then I go into my rotate again and I select this axis and then uh, there I put a negative 45 and I say OK. So that's basically um, how I made the spike balls. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for somebody. Uh, like I, these things, these spikes can be anything. It could be extrusion, revolves, anything. So thank you very much. Have a good day.